Hi guys, it's Danny the Traveler and I'm here with Rocky the Traveler and welcome to another episode of the Rocky Roadshow. So this is what I have to do to get Rocky to uh, sit so I can film him. So we're here in England, just chilling, drinking some tea, and we just finished with a road trip that took us across the UK, and it was incredible. Just to give you some background, earlier this year we were invited to a bull terrier walk in Glasgow as special guests. And it coincided with us returning to England from traveling around Europe for a bit. So of course we said yes, because lots of bull terriers in one place, how can you say no? So we headed to London, where I was planning to buy a used car for a road trip I want to do next year. And I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to do a mini road trip up to Glasgow and then wrap it up in Bournemouth, where I first had gone to university and also I had to go down there and take care of some few, a few errands. So it kind of just turned into a road trip with all these little missions. From London, I chose Yarmouth to stay a little while because it was a beach town and it was inexpensive to stay in a in a B&B there and I had never been there before so we explored a bit of Yarmouth and found out that it's quite a ghost town in October nevertheless as travelers we still explored as much as we could and found that it could be quite charming especially during the market days we even went to the nearby national park known as the Broads that was a good spot to do some hiking and to get some fresh air from there, we drove up to Leeds, where I met up with an old uni friend of mine who lived there and went daytime exploring with Rocky to one of the biggest parks in all of Europe, Round Hay Park. And that was pretty cool. The fall colors just made the natural beauty of the park pop even more. It was one of those places where I wish we had just spent some more time to explore the city. After that, it was a long drive up to Glasgow where our bully walk awaited us. We hit some challenges on the way, including some flooded roads, but once we made it, it was like gold at the end of a rainbow. A sunny and beautiful city with so much to explore. After seeing some of Glasgow's coolest sights and parks, it was finally time for our Bull Terrier walk. We met Rocky's fellow brothers and sisters at Glasgow Green, and Rocky made instant friends there, and then we took over one of the nearby pubs and had some more bull terrier fun. It was really bull terrier mania in Glasgow. From there, we went off to do a quirky bull terrier photo shoot and Rocky made some very good friends with a couple of other bullies. What an amazing experience and one that we will never forget. We quite enjoyed spending time in Glasgow and we even thought about heading further north toward Isle of Skye, but then decided it was just too far to go up there and then all the way back down. So that's a trip for next time. On our way to the south of England, we made a stop on our road trip to the beautiful Lake District, an area of England that I had wanted to explore for quite a long time. It was remarkable. We took a pet-friendly boat ride over the stunning Oldswater Lake and enjoyed some of the most incredible scenery in all of England. After that, we drove to the Cotswolds, discovering another new area of England. Specifically, we explored the village of Burton on the Water, nicknamed the Venice of Coltswolds. Another little town that we wish we had spent more time in. But we definitely enjoyed it. After the Coltswolds, we kept on driving south and we made it to Oxford. The historic university city. It was Rocky's first time seeing it and my second. But don't tell him I went there once without him. We got to take a photo of the famous Radcliffe camera and we got to see some of the most breathtaking architecture and get some cool views of the Thames River. Further south, we made a stop and spent some time trying to find a good view of Windsor Castle. Rocky didn't get to meet the Queen, but I'm sure she would have loved to pet him, especially when he's wearing this uh, cool coat of his. Nevertheless, I think we got some good views of the castle and of the famous Long Walk. And finally, we went down to the first town we had ever lived in and the start of our adventures way back in 2014, Bournemouth. 
What an epic road trip for dog and man. Next year, we have a pretty similar plan, but it's just much more epic. Uh, we plan to do all EU28 countries to take advantage of Rocky's pet passport. And uh, it's gonna be a long trip. We're probably gonna, we're gonna go by car, and uh, we'll probably end up taking trains, planes, uh, ferries, you name it. And that's our, uh, that's our goal next year, so yeah, hopefully we get to do that. So what did we learn about this trip? Well, England is actually quite a diverse country. Being an American, I didn't think that driving up and down more than 8 hours a day each way was that much of a stretch. But let me tell you, there's a difference. I can't describe it, but it just feels so different driving 8 hours uh, across a couple of states in the US versus 8 hours from the south of England all the way up to Scotland. It just, it's very, very different. I feel like there were such stark differences between, let's say, Yarmouth and Glasgow and then the Cotswolds, and then Oxford, and Bournemouth, it's just all so diverse. The people are different, even the architecture is just, uh, it varies from one city to the next. And as for Rocky, well, you probably would have guessed, but uh, everyone in every city loved him, and they all wanted to greet him. I can't wait to see the massive differences in our European trip. So thanks guys for checking out our adventure, and uh, we'll see you guys soon.